So now let's see how we can work around with autocomplete and notification rules inside of Google Sheets. So I'm just going to go around and type in Robert over here in this cell. And if I were to go around over here and type in R, then you can see that it is automatically filled up. I can type in another name right here, like Betty right here. And if I were to type in B, you can see that there's autofill for it. And R, there's automatic fill for it as well. So now what we can also do is turn this feature off. And to do that, you can go around into tool. And if you were to um, enable autocomplete, then this is what is there. But if I were to disable this, then you can see that it does not actually work around. So now uh, the feature is simply disabled. You can delete this out as well. And then you can go around and enable the autocomplete. And if you were to press B right here, then there you go. That is how the autocomplete feature actually works out. Besides that, you can also have notification options. And to enable or disable it, you can go to tools and you can go to notification rules right here. So there's the notification rule that I have right here. Let me just delete it. And now you don't have any notification rules. So you can add a notification rules. And let's say, for example, if there's any changes that are made or a user submits a form, then you can be sent a notification on your Gmail account. Uh, you can also go around and then have a right away email right here where so notify me with right away or Delhi. So you can have immediate changes uh, emails or you can have Delhi digest right here. Whatever you want, you can press save. And whenever the, those particular changes are actually done, then you will be emailed notifying you that the changes has been done. And that is how you can work around with the autocomplete and notification rules inside of Google Sheets. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.